We've got so many great candidates that if our elections were really fair, I believe the ranks of Congress, the Senate, I think a White House, I think all the state governorships would be Republican if elections were fair. So it's another week and Carrie Lake is still continuing her, oh, I actually won the election. Life is so unfair. I'm a victim mentality, even though she's, you know, like a conservative and she's supposed to take personal responsibility for her losses. You know, it's not like she couldn't just run again, but well, she kind of couldn't because you know, her entire campaign was based on Donald Trump won the 2020 election. I'm the biggest, craziest right wing goon in the country. We've got a lot of great candidates in uh, the Republican Party, unlike the Democrat Party. They roll people out like Katie Hobbs and Joe Biden, and they expect us to believe that that's that's what people want. And we know people don't want that. Meanwhile, we've got great candidates on the Republican Party and on our on our side. So she really can't, you know, like rebrand herself like she just cares about the people and she wants to get really good policies passed for the working class, because those are things that will make people show up to the polls. Like if you were to run your campaign talking about how you're going to help raise people's wages, you know, maybe um, make the uh, cost of living go down in some type of way, whether that be rent prices, grocery prices, whatever it is that's really keeping people um, from being able to have just a little bit of liquidity in their lives. You know, being able to go out with your family to eat a couple of nights a week or maybe once a month or a couple of times a month is that's a big deal to people. Things like that. That's how you win elections, Carrie Lake. We need President Trump back in office to fix what Joe Biden has screwed up. They park outside of our house. These people are evil bastards. I'm going to be your worst freaking nightmare for eight years. And really, I mean, let's be serious. Like, what kind of a statement is that for anybody to make? Even if a Democrat were to say that, like, if elections were fair, Democrats would never lose. Now, albeit, you know, uh, George W. Bush got in there when he lost the popular vote. Donald Trump got in there when he lost the popular vote the first time around. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know, the Electoral College is definitely an issue in and of itself. But for you to just say, oh, Every time I lose, it's because it's unfair. No, you know, like the argument could be made for Democrats. If y'all were to actually follow through on the policies that you run on, like improving health care, reducing the cost of education, you know, things like that. If you actually were to deliver on those promises, then y'all would never lose or lose significantly less than you do. So, again, it really comes down to delivering for the people. If you have the back of the people, the people will have your back just in return, especially given the fact that a lot of people in government get there through elections. I worry because my opponent is running the elections. Her name's Katie Hobbs. She's incompetent. It's not just me saying that. The Arizona Supreme Court called her incompetent. And we've already seen how she's botched many elections. And I worry. I think she should have recused herself. We've been asking her to recuse herself for over a year now. Are you accusing her of fraud, though, Miss Lake? I'm, accu I'm accusing her of being absolutely incompetent and a worthless Secretary of State. Listen, man, whether it's Carrie Lake or Dr. Oz or anybody else like that, I think this election cycle really showed us that if you don't have any real political convictions, if you don't really want to do something for the people, then just don't run, especially if you're already successful. I mean, Dr. Oz, now he can't get he can't get signed uh, contracts to get this show or that show. Before he ran for office, this was not a problem. His reputation really wasn't as in the trash as it is now. Carrie Lake, she had a career going for herself. People knew who she was. But now that she really, you know, put her face all over the nation as a Republican, not just as a Republican, but as a crazy Republican. Well, now her reputation is damaged to the point where it's going to be hard for her to carry on and to get new opportunities moving forward. So, look, if you don't actually have plans to help people, then just stay out of the race.